What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day today, and I hope you're not letting anybody steal your joy. Welcome to my Amstrad for Life today, my beautiful day. Thank you all so much for joining us. You guys are so amazing. You know what we're doing? We're going downstairs to get Zozo some chocolate. Zozo is not feeling herself. Zozo was upset when I put her down to receive a call because this mama is a businesswoman. I have to, I have to do my business. So Zozo was upset. She went into Larry's room. I'm going to heat herself. Zozo, are you happy now? Yeah. That's awesome. Zozo, that diaper is so full. We need to take it off. Are you ready to take it off? Yeah. All right. Let me get. I'm just gonna use one hand and hold one. Hold the the um the camera with the other hand because I did not put it on the stand. Zozo, are you excited for your chocolate? Yeah. Good. Lavia, you want some chocolate? Levy, yeah. would you like some chocolate? No. Big girl. So we just did 100. When you're a mom, you learn how to navigate life. And by navigate, I mean you learn how to take care of your kids while you are occupied. Multitask, baby. That's what it's called. I hope you guys are having a good day today. It's been a fun day. We give God praise for everything. And um, yeah, let's just go give Zozo her chocolate. Zozo, you ready for your chocolate? All right, let's go get your chocolate, you sweet, amazing girl. Mmm, let me grab my sweet and jelly, baby. Mm. I'm a big girl right there. I love my, mm, my sweet baby girl. So, do you love mama? Mm. Good. Mama loves you too. Oh, hey, here's my big boy. Hey, say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm fine. Ask everybody how they're doing. Say everybody, how are you doing? Everybody, how are it's you not doing? Good. Good. Um, I think you guys are doing good. I just answered them um, now. Zo Zozo, they are doing good. Why are you saying not too good? So they are doing good. All right, let's go get Zozo her chocolate. And then I'll go back to work. I'm still I'm working a few hours today. And I I'm super excited because I didn't think that I was going to do it today because I had to change the um alternator. In my truck. Do you want that one? Yeah. Mmm. Chocolate. There you go. Mmm. I'm gonna open this one for myself. Mmm. Milk chocolate. Awesome. Mmm. Okay. Time for me to go back upstairs. I mean, I have a customer waiting on me. Let me can turn it on. But play Baby Boss or something, okay? Baby Boss? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, two, three, four, five. All right, baby. You need anything? Meet me in the office. Gotta get back into the office and make some money. Money, money. Yes. Do you guys have some Two water in your cups? Two hours later. Levy, if you want more water, you know what to get it, right? Levy, what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to strangle your sister? You better leave your sister alone. I got Levy trying to strangle his sister. All right, come here, Levy. You know where all the water is. Go get, go get, go get two bottles. <laughs> Put the water back on the table and go get two bottles of water. Go, go get two bottles so we can give you guys some water. Um, Levy knows where the water is. Ooh, and look at our wreath in the house. Love it. Yes, Jojo. Do you want some tacos? Your mama to make us some tacos. Yes. All right, mama. Gonna... I know. Let me bring two bottles. Hand me that one and get another one. Perfect. Okay, you can bring both. I know you don't want tacos. That's fine, baby. You already ate that big fat sandwich, so you don't need a taco. You get a big fat sandwich, you don't need a taco. All we need to do now is I need to warm up the taco for me and Zozo. But um, right now, I just got to put some water in this cup. Let me bring the water over here. Zozo, hold on. Mama's going to top it up with some water for you. It's time for us to eat. Zozo's eating some tacos. Mm, turkey tacos and I'm also eating some on shells. So my shells broke. I have some meat under these leaves. See that? 
My shell broke, but I'm gonna cover Mama, them up. I'm an elephant. You're an elephant? Okay. Cover this up like, like that. Just gotta pick your shells and cover them up. That's how it is. I'm about to eat this. I'm warming up some rice. That's for Lord and Chester. So you pick it up like this. Mmm. Time to go pick up my rice. I made some spicy rice and beans. Now that up. Now this on the side. Amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. Why did it work? Mm -hmm. It worked. That's what Lord and Jesus name. I cooked all of these, you guys. I'm a chef for myself and my kids. Yeah. Cooked all of these fresh, fresh beans, fresh rice, everything fresh. Mm. What's up, everybody? We're done eating. Now it's time for me to go give the kids a bath. It is bath time, and they'll, they'll be go getting in bed early because. This spring forward thing has really messed up with our um, sleeping pattern. I'm still waking up at the same time I used to wake up. I set the alarm. But Le'Veon gets too tired to wake up for school. And I want, I want to make sure he gets used to this new spring forward. Um, so when I wake him up, he's not so tired. And that's why they're getting their butts in bed early. So right now, I want to fix their like those old scooter and everything. I don't like the things being disorganized. Like... When um I don't I just don't like it anymore. I don't know why. I'm like, I just want the place fixed. You know, even if it's a little bit, because I don't I don't want like you know what I mean. I do, I shouldn't complain because I'm a mom. It's gonna happen, but I'm gonna fix it as much as I can and let the rest go. I pick my battles. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys. Good morning. It's a good everybody. morning. So Luke is about to go Very to next day. Levy. I'm not going anywhere. You are. You're going. You're gonna put your pants on. Come on. He doesn't want to go to school, but he's going. My car is fixed. Everything works perfect. So he's going, right? I hope you guys are having a good day today. I hope you have a good day. I hope everything works out perfect for you guys. Because everything will work out perfect for us. In fact, everything is already working out perfect for us. Zozo, come in here. We need to put some stuff on. We need to cover your butt and put some clothes on. So this is Zozo. Why are you sad, kitty kitty? Why are you sad, kitty kitty? Mm -hmm. right, what's up, everybody? So we just dropped Le'Veon up. We just dropped him, dropped him off. <laughs> I said, up. Oh, it is okay. We just dropped him up. So there's us in the truck. We're about to head home now. It's rainy, y'all. Like this rainy weather, I like it because I mean, come on now, the food that we eat is growing by the rain. Sometimes when it's raining like this, I don't want to do nothing. I just don't want to get out of the house. But I know I have to because, you know, when you have kids, you have to make sure your kids are growing and you're giving them the kind of opportunities that you received when you were growing up or even better, so. It doesn't mean that sometimes I don't I don't feel lazy. I feel lazy. I feel like not getting my butt off the couch or off anything. Just be there doing other things other than getting in the rain. But I glorify God for the rain because I know, I know the rain means food. It means um, moisture, right? We all need that. So I'm grateful. And there is Zozo one more time. And we're about to head home. That's awesome, Zozo. Now it's time for us to do some learning. So you guys were home now. It's time for me to teach Zozo. So I like to do this with my kids because I want them to have a lot of like, I want them to, um, what do you call it? I want to give them as much resources as I can, everything within me. I don't want to spare anything just so my kids know that I did it all for them. You know what I mean? So I, I'm glad I'm doing this for them because I know that every time you spend teaching your kids is actually you investing in their future. So very grateful that I'm able to do this. We're about to learn, and there's those, 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 are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get started shortly. To get started. How are you? Good morning, good morning. 
You're looking for seven. Seven? Where is seven? Where is seven? Look at the board. Look at your board. <laughs> Good job. Seven right here. Good. It's Next number. number. Next number. Where is number eight? Go. Where is number eight? Go. Look for it, baby. You just touched seven. So eight should come after seven. Now go. <laughs> Good. Now say it out loud. Eight. Eight. Next number. Eight is on covers. Next number. Nine. Nine. Where is ten go? G touch ten. Zozo, I want you to just say so mama can say it after you. Don't be asking me. You're the one who's doing the work and I'm just following. Take that off your face, please. Come on. Next number. Next number, go. Okay, hey everybody. So the kids and I, the kid, the other one is at school. We have been, Zosa and I have been chilling and I also had to start work early today because um, we had new settings that I had needed to update on my computer in my workspace, which is awesome. I did that already, but, um, before I end this video today, I just wanted to say that for those of you who may be going through tough times in your life and there may be things that you can't control and that are really annoying you right now, I just want you to know that God is in control. God's got you. That it may seem like you've lost all control. It may seem like you've lost something, but I'm telling you, it's a seed you've just planted for your abundance, for your overflow. All right. No matter how badly it hurts, don't allow it to control you or steal your joy. Surrender it to God and trust that God has a plan and God's plan is what will take center place in your life in the sense that God's plan is what will generate a good result for you. You know what I mean? A good harvest for you. So I'm declaring it over your life. It does not matter what you've lost. It does not matter what's, what's been taken from you. It does not matter what you may be going through right now. What matters is that God is for you. God is your peace. God is your joy. God is your provision and your provider. God is your everything. And I declare it over your life because we believe, I believe, you and me will believe that God is our everything. That means that whatever may seem like it is going wrong, it's only a purge for the abundance of God to come through. All right. So let's give thanks knowing that in God, there is only gain. In God, there is only multiplication. In God, there is only good. All right. Let's hold on to this faith and trust that everything works out in our favor because it is working out in our favor. It has worked out in our favor. And this is the moment where we take hold and we take charge of what belongs to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for watching today. I appreciate every one of you. I hope you're having a good day. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, follow us on the journey. I love you guys very much. I will be vlogging and sending more videos your way. All right. Love you. See you later. Bye, y'all.